The water hyacinth that's currently covering more than 30% of the surface of the Hot Bearsport Dam is the most invasive and rapidly proliferating aquatic weed in the world. For the last 10 years, the Department of Water and Sanitation ran a program, Metsamir, to keep the hyacinth and algae at bay on the dam. However, amidst allegations of corruption, nepotism and infighting, the department abruptly pulled the plug on this otherwise successful program. Now millions of these plants are covering large parts of the Hot Bearsport Dam, making water activities like boating and fishing virtually impossible. Earlier this year, during a community meeting, the Hart Beersport Dam Rehabilitation Steering Committee was formed to look at ways of how to tackle the growing ecological disaster. Chairperson Graham Pepler explains. The steering committee was formed two months ago and um, we've been meeting almost on a weekly basis. Within the steering committee, we've got ad hoc committees looking at the um, various solutions that we can have. Many people have communicated with us to say that they've got the solutions, but when we offer them the opportunity to come and harvest here at the Uber Club, they just don't pitch. So what we're doing at the moment is we've got nets from Kasper Krier has got some nets from the Arabesque fisheries. We're going to net the hyacinth and maintain it at the, at the shoreline so that the people who are coming to harvest it can then easily get it out the water. The project is quite big at the moment, as we can see this morning. We've got approximately 260 hectare of hyacinths. It equates to about 80,000 tons of hyacinths, which needs to be removed at this moment in time. It's going to be a lengthy process, but at least we start in the process at the moment. There's zero participation from the Department of Water Affairs currently. We're trying to engage with the, um, with the Director General of the Department. Without success, um, Leon Besson, the Shadow Minister from the DA side, will be attending our meeting next week and we're going to see if he's going to facilitate the process with the department so we can address the situation and find out what is the department doing at the moment. But this is not the first time that the hyacinth plant is threatening the Hart Bearsport ecosystem. As far back as 1977, the whole dam was covered for almost a year. It seems like the Department of Water and Sanitation hasn't learned from their past mistakes. The sal ramp wees as daar 'n besluit sou kom om hierdie goed dood te spuit. En dit is waar die aanvanklike probleme van Arpispoedam de kaders gelede begin het. Toe water hyasinte gespuit is, die fosfaat wat daar opgesluit is, beland op die ouwe en op die bodem. Want die twee plante sak af bodem toe. So jy sit met a, met a stoor van groot fosfaat hoeveelhede in die boer. So dit moet ten alle koste verhoed word, dat hierdie plante doodgespuit word. But why is the water hyacinth such a threat to the Hart Bearsport ecosystem? Fricky Boerter, a retired scientist, explains. Well, the hyacinth is what ons noem a alien vegetation. En dit is uh, pes wat in Suid-Afrika ingebring is op een of ander manier, maar reeds baie jare hier op ons dam floreer. En wat ons nou gevind het, is dat sedert ons opgehou het om hyacinthe te oes tijdens die Metsiame project, het die uh, tendens wat hy so vinnig vermeerder net hand oor hand toegeneem. Die gevolg is dat ons sit nou met minstens 22% van die oppervlakte van hierdie dam besoedel. Nou wat belangrijk is, is dat is hierdie hyacinth hulle vermeerder hulle self eerstens door blomme te maak wat saad skiet en dit groei dan baie vinnig weer uh, binnen die selfde seisoen. Maar die ander belangrike ding is dat die wortel van hierdie plant het nou uh, vermoe om op een vegetatieve manier voor te plant. Met andere woorden, die dochterplankjes ontstaan uit die wortels van hier in en hij kan om zelfs binnen 10 tot 12 dagen verdubbelen. Met gevolg is dat ons zal moeten in een exponentiële tempo werken, net om hier jacenten te verwijderen, want hulle groei vinniger as wat ons hulle kan uithaal. Casper Kruger of the Hart Beersport Fisheries designed a netting system to retain the hyacinths in one place to make the removal of this plant easier. Uh, as you can see, we are not only bezig with our net, we have a net from Norsonet, 
wat die haie sinte op een plek moet vasthou, dat ek nie kan rondskuif nie, um, en dat ons dan kan meer totale aandag gee op een specifieke plekke, om die, om die haie sinte dan te verweider uit die dam uit. With regular sewage spills by the local Mudibang municipality, the dam has turned into a green algae pulp during the summer months. With the hyacinths that deprive the algae plant from sunlight, phosphates and nitrates, the water underneath the hyacinths is crystal clear, the cleanest that the dam has been for many years. Is the hyacinth a blessing in disguise? Uh, Hierdie plant floreer in vloeibare kunstmisbasis, is wat dit is. Maar die goeie, goeie aspect daarvan is dat hy syver die water. Die jacinte het die vermoe om nutriënte soos fosfate en nitrate uit die water op te neem. So, hier is voordele dat daar die jacinte op die dam is, want die water lyk skoon. Maar die nadele is dat die oppervlakte beset raak en dit keer die suurstof om by die onderwater oppervlakte uit te kom. Met ander woorde, ons kan tot die situasie kom dat daar soveel jasint is dat dit die vislewe begin bedreig. En dit is vir my die groot bedreiging as ons nie nou drasties aksie neem om hierdie oppervlakte skoon te kry. The Department of Water and Sanitation is technically bankrupt and owes the Reserve Bank more than a trillion rand. It's unlikely that they'll be able to do anything in the near future. The Department of Environmental Affairs was planning to send five working for water teams to manually remove the hyacinths from the dam. They were supposed to start in April, but due to financial restraints, they haven't started yet. And uh, yeah, thanks, I want all your people to participate and help us to clean this dam. Thank you very much.